This is Necro Day for CollectionDX.com again, checking in with a video review for the new Rondo Hatton 12 inch doll from Amok Time Toys. You are looking at the box art right now, which was done by uh, Rainer Engel, and I hope I'm pronouncing that name correctly. I apologize if not. Uh, this is box art that at first kind of underwhelmed me, but as I've grown to look at it more and more, it's uh, really grown on me. I like the purple background, it's got a very noir ish look to it. Like most 12 inch boxes, the lid opens up. I've got the figure out as I often do. And there's a picture of the figure on the inside flap. And you'll notice that the uh, box art wraps around the background. Very neat. Put some Velcro there to keep it closed. And the back of the box just has a little bit about Rondo as well as a uh, filmography. Kind of a standard 12 inch box. Looks nice. Nothing groundbreaking. These kind of 12 inch dolls have been uh, around for a while, so there's really not a heck of a lot of new ground that one can tread for these. It's just a matter of doing things right and making them look nice. And there is Rondo, and look nice he does. I was very, very impressed with, with this figure when I got it. It, uh, it was one that initially. I was going to get it just because it was something different. You know, I love having new characters. You know, rather than just the, uh, the standard Universal monsters. You know, God knows I love them, but you get enough of them. So Rondo was something different. I remembered seeing him, but I wasn't quite sure from where. He was in uh, several movies in the 40s, House of Horrors, uh, The Jungle Captive, I believe. Haven't seen either of those. Uh, the Brute Man. Uh, the only one I think I've actually seen was the Sherlock Holmes film, The Pearl of Death. That was the uh, Sherlock Holmes with Basil Rathbone, and Nigel Bruce. My favorites. He like said it's a regular 12 inch doll. In addition to having a really nice sculpt. The clothes are really nice. Heck, this guy wears better clothes than I do, frankly. And it's nice and bulky. Gives him that mass. Makes him look really intimidating. The hat can be removed. You may have seen earlier that there's an extra hat. I just happen to like the one that's smaller. But your mileage may vary, as they say. These buttons actually have to be put into the holes in there. They're not snap buttons like you see on a lot of figures. That's uh... I guess that's neat. That's a really good uh, effort that it would have taken to do that, but I think I probably would have preferred to have them be uh, kind of snap-on buttons, even though that may not be uh, as realistic or as accurate as uh, these ones are. I think they are less likely to break and uh, easier to attach. The belt is actually looped there. Again, not a button. Very nicely done overall. One thing that, that I encountered, and at first I thought it was broken, these hands, or the arms, actually pop off. There's like a little separation here inside. And when I first felt that, I thought, oh man, I got a lemon, this thing's broken. But it actually does that on both sides. And in addition, they don't come out the arms are actually attached to the clothing. So, I think the reason for that is just to give you a little bit more flexibility. You know, I mentioned that there's a lot of bulk on this, and that kind of makes it hard to move the arms up. You can move them up sideways, but you can't really go straight up. So I think that might be just a, a way to give you a little bit more flexibility. Kind of a neat idea. And they snap right back on very easily once I line them up. There we go. As you can see, Rondo has his own stand. I like to always try to hide this underneath the clothes, but it kind of comes out a bit, so you can kind of see the protrusion there. His name is emblazoned on the base there. See right down there. Rondo Hatton collectible figure. Pretty standard. 
but very well done. The Rondo Hatton figure is a great figure. I'm really glad I picked it up. Uh, I think it's going to be interesting to see if he is nominated for or actually wins a Rondo Award, which is given every year to the uh, the best in the field of horror and sci-fi and things like that. You know, they do have a toy category, so it'll be interesting to see if he competes. Uh, he's got my vote so far. That's a really great figure. Uh, and it's a great figure that you can pick up at amucktime.com. Also, check out the full review at collectiondx.com. Thanks very much. See you later.